you as that attacking midfielder want to start on the blind side of that midfield line what's going on youtube welcome back to another video today we are going to be covering the attacking midfielder position so the very first thing that i want you to understand from this position is your job description as an attacking midfielder your job is to create attacking opportunities how do you create attacking opportunities and that's exactly what i'm going to show you in this video i want you to learn exactly where to be positioned before even receiving the ball so that you can set yourself up for success when you are in these areas the rest is up to you of course if you have that tight technical ability ability to dribble in tight spaces great vision to find that final pass then you're in the clear you're gonna do really well first things first this picture right here i want you to understand every time if you can position yourself in the pockets of space you will cause a lot of chaos between the opposition let me show you what i mean in this picture right here we can see that you as number 10 is going to be inside the pockets of space what do i mean by pockets of space it's between four players and in this case it's going to be the two center backs and the two center mids in the half space between a center mid winger fullback and center back or it could be on the other side your objective is always to try and find the center of that pocket because by doing so you're going to cause indecision in the opposition there's going to be a slight miscommunication into which player defends you and in that split second is when you can become dangerous the next picture i want to show you are these potential movements so as you can see here the ball is out wide with your fullback when you are in these spaces you're going to start either in the half space central space depending on where the ball is in this occasion the ball is out wide with the fullback so in these moments i need you to be on the blind side of that midfielder in the half space and these are movements that typically happen for example if I want to check in and be in that half space I will do so if my midfielder peels out another situation that might occur is my winger might make the movement down the line and I can also be able to drift out wide another potential movement that I could make is my winger checks into the fullback on the ball and i make the run in behind or if my striker makes that run in behind then i will simply stay in this half space waiting to be that connector in case my teammates need me out of possession you are going to operate in the central areas so you as an attacking midfielder typically will be tasked with either marking the center back depending how your team is defending or marking the CDM. So for example, in this picture, you can see that the blue team is lined up in a 4-3-3. The 10 is tasked with marking the defensive midfielder here. Your objective as an attacking midfielder when you are defending is to not let this player get on the ball. Do not let them have an easy turn because these players, number six, the defensive midfielder, when they're able to turn and play forward in those areas, that's when it becomes dangerous. So now let's move into the clips in possession what do i want you to look for let's look at this first clip in this first yeah. clip Sporting we are going to pay attention to this player right here and the reason why i want you to pay attention to this player right here is because they are right now lined up in a 4-3-3 we have three center mids in this moment defensive mid two attacking midfielders the ball has just gotten rotated to the right sided center back 2024, what do we see in this clip number one the defensive line and we have the midfield line. This defensive mid is far out of the picture. You, as that attacking midfielder, want to start on the blind side of that midfield line. Do you notice how he is also in the pocket of space between these players right here? And that is exactly where I need you to start as an attacking midfielder, because this is going to happen. Decent. On the boom when you do receive those passes whether it be your midfielder or your center back you are able to Going to traffic progress now. play forward Steelman. when you progress play forward we can create an attacking opportunity here's another clip we're gonna pay attention to this player right here now mind you this is the winger that has tucked in but he's gonna go into the attacking midfielders zone of operation sometimes 
you may be drifting out wide a teammate may be tucking in but if you are in that area which 90% of the time you will be in this area this is what you should be doing in possession to be able to create these attacking moments so notice how the ball right now is out wide he is moving in here why is he moving in here that is where the space is I'm gonna freeze it right there of course you need a teammate that can find you and find that pass but being in that pocket of space again this is what we're looking for he is in that pocket of space when you are in those pockets of space it is dangerous when you are able to receive and create something in those pockets of space even more dangerous watch what happens next great first touch into space uses a speed boom shot on goal this wins a corner kick this wins a shot on goal this also could turn into a goal scoring opportunity so you as an attacking midfielder whenever you find yourself in those moments you need to be aware of that you are in this pocket when you are in these pockets you are not going to have too much space to turn and to play and be calm no in these moments you have to be quick realize that when you receive in these pockets this is when you use your ability Typically, attacking midfielders are quick, agile, and have a great vision, great dribbling to be able to create these moments. Let's move on to that next clip. So in this next clip, we are going to focus again on the red team. This is PSV. Notice how they immediately get into shape. You can see the three midfielders. As they get into shape, look what happens next. This attacking midfielder moves over. Why does he move over? He wants to be that passing option to break that line again. This time it's a center defensive mid. Boom, he receives that pass there. He's under pressure. He doesn't force a turn here, plays back. Once this happens, I want you to see this other movement. Ball goes out wide and this attacking midfielder shifts over into the half space. Why does he shift over? Because we create this. He could have been an option for his teammate. His teammate didn't play him, it's okay, but he is there just in case. So you as an attacking midfielder, whether you're on, playing on the right side or left side, you move into the half space when the ball is out wide. What is the other attacking midfielder doing? He moves centrally. So what this does is now we balance out the midfield. Both attacking midfielders are not on the same side. This attacking midfielder is not all the way on the other side. He's not immediately involved in this moment, but in case the ball does get circulated over, he is there ready to receive let's continue watching this clip it goes to show you what i showed you at the beginning of this video center defensive mid moved out so now there is all this space here for the attacking midfielder to drop into and that is exactly what happens this attacking midfielder now is going to drop into that space as the ball is circulating over so he drops into that space ball doesn't get circulated over look what happens here he's still balancing the midfield this attacking midfielder is still in a forward position but now what do we have here we have four players one two three four here we have a four v three situation and i want you to pay attention to this yes the fullback is out wide the center back is dropping off the cdm is that straight pass in here and the attacking midfielder is the outlet pass in this moment. The other attacking midfielder is here, balancing the field. So both of the midfielders have gone out to the left side in this moment. And you, as an attacking midfielder, if you're on the opposite side, you want to try and be central. You can use that PK spot as a reference point. You can either move a little deeper and be that outlet pass here, or stay exactly where this player is. The center circle is your best friend. You can always use that as reference. Look what happens next. Ball gets circulated over. They don't get the ball. Next clip. So now it's a similar situation. It's a 4v4 situation in this moment. Fullback decides to play backwards. I want you to notice how the other attacking midfielder is balancing the midfield. This attacking midfielder is not involved right now. He's moving out. Defensive mid now is moving out. So you as an attacking midfielder can stay in this space. Ball got rotated over and you as attacking midfielder can stay in the space because it's not occupied by anybody. So you can occupy it. The opposite side, the left-sided attacking midfielder is staying high in the half space. Let's see what happens next. Right now, you notice that your center back has all this space. You do not want to 
check in deep to receive the ball. You want to get out. So you let your center back push up while you also push up. And where are you pushing up to? Yes, you guessed it. You're pushing up into that pocket of space in the half space. That is where I want you to start your positioning. Just like this player does right here on the blind side. Now this, again, is gonna cause indecision in the, the opponents. His midfield, his winger checks in, he stays here. The other side, left-sided attacking midfielder is still out wide. He's still on the left, left half space. Let's see what happens, the ball circulates around. Defensive midfielder now opened up the space, why? To pin the opposition back. Look what happens, boom. Litter interchange. Boom. So the key thing from that clip is center back has space, defensive midfielder has space, you as an attacking midfielder, you move out. Here's another clip. This time we are on the black team, Feyenoord. They're attacking midfielder right here. I want you to notice how he's also positioned. This is kind of a moment where it was a kind of a 50-50, but look where how he positions himself. He's looking for angles, looking for angles. He has immediate pressure. He doesn't need to get on the ball now. So look what he does next. Teammates in that space, he's not involved, he's not involved. And then now, the ball is out wide, he is attacking this space right here. As that happens, he's looking for that rebound. Now, him being in this general area, as an attacking midfielder, you will typically be looking for any rebounds, or you may be attacking the box. But if you are in this general area when the cross is coming in, Look what could happen. I'm gonna forward this a little bit. PSV cleared the ball, this is what happened. He's still in that general area, boom. Controls, turns, dribbles, it's a PK for his team. And that is exactly how you should be creating attacking moments as an attacking midfielder. Now defensively, if we look at positioning, there are two very important clips I want you to see. Number one, do you see how this attacking midfielder is tight on their defensive midfielder? They're six. Everybody shifts out wide to press. He is still aware of this center defensive mid. This is who he needs to pick up in this moment. Awareness, awareness, awareness. Nothing happens. Ball has gone out to the other side. Now this defensive midfielder is smart. He's not checking in everywhere. He stays. So this attacking midfielder, you as a defender, when you are defending these moments, you need to make a decision. You are not going to stay here with this player. You are gonna shift over and try to defend this space. The ball is on the other side now, so now we look to get into that space. Boom, ball is one back. So the next clip, out of possession, I want you to see how Feyenoord is currently defending in a five in the back. They have four midfielders, and then we have one striker. So they are currently in a 5-4-1. So you, as an attacking midfielder, it depends what your role is out of possession. So sometimes coaches might want you to be defending in a 4-4-2. You might def be defending like this in a 5-4-1 or a 5-3-2. Your role as an attacking midfielder, you might be one of the front two you might be one of the players that drops into the midfield. It all depends what instructions your coach gives you and how you wanna defend out of possession. But the same concept applies. You wanna be able to defend the central player. The midfielder is typically your guy or anybody in that general zone is your man to pick up. The defensive midfielder is gonna be the one trying to pull strings and you need to try to stop that. You can see now in this moment how the center back has taken their space. So, right now, this attacking midfielder needs to make a decision. Who do they pick up? Should they stay with the center defensive mid that they were originally following? Or should they move to apply pressure to the immediate danger that's happening right now? Essentially, he drops into the central zone, and that's what you need to be doing as an attacking midfielder out of possession. Those are the moments that you need to look out for. You always want to be able to hold and defend the central areas unless instructed otherwise, unless you're one of the front two and you're instructed for some certain pressing triggers, whatever the case may be, but typically your guy or your player to mark is their center defensive mid. As always guys, I hope this video helped give you a better understanding of the attacking midfielder position. Please leave a like and a comment and anything else that you'd like to see, anything else that you'd like me to go more in depth of and we can continue working on that. Thank you so much. Until the next one.